Hello everyone, my name is LaPrecious and welcome to my channel, Let's Talk with LaPrecious. So today I will be talking to you all about the fight that happened between Nicki Minaj and Cardi B last week at the New York Fashion Week. So a lot of us pretty much knew this was coming anyway, but I'm sure a lot of us didn't know that it was going to get as bad that to the extent that it did. But I saw it coming. I knew Cardi B was going to try to beat Nicki some way, somehow, and she almost did. Because when you look at the feud that's been going on between Cardi B and Nicki, a fight like this was just bound to happen. Because Nicki Minaj has been known to relentlessly diss any female rapper that's came before her and anyone who's really tried to come after her. She has this mean girl bully, I'm the best, I'm the only one that can do it demeanor. And she does it relentlessly through her music, through her attitude when she's out doing interviews and when she's making appearances on the red carpet. So Nicki Minaj has pretty much garnered herself as this queen that could be the only queen of hip hop and that will ever be the queen of hip hop. And there's no other queen that will come after her unless she's the one who appoints the next queen of hip hop. And we all know Cardi B's not having that. You know, Cardi B, she was herself. She went from being the stripper on Instagram that would make funny videos about sex and stripping and life. Then she got on Love and Hip Hop and she decided she didn't want to do that because she didn't like how the producers were making her lie and pop off and start unnecessary drama to get attention. So she left Love and Hip Hop and started her music. And now she's one of the top selling female artists in history. And as we all know, that has bothered Nikki tremendously because I believe that Nikki, Nikki has always known that there were would be rappers that would come after her, but I'm sure she never knew there would be a rapper come after her to the extent that Cardi B has. I mean, Cardi B has only been out, and I want to say mainstream for one year, and she's already breaking records. You know, she's streaming billions of views on Spotify. She... I believe she had a title where she was a top selling female rapper in history since 1998 when Lauren Hills and the, the Miseducation of Lauren Hill came out. And I'm sure that was probably a double dose dag at Nikki because we all know that Lauren Hill was Nikki's idol when she first came out because they used to say that Nikki had this uniqueness about her because she could rap and sing just like Lauren Hill did when she first came out. And to be honest, I don't think that Nikki has ever won the same accolades or awards that Lauren Hill has. So, of course, it would bother Nikki that not only Cardi B is getting more attention than she is and she's breaking more records than she is, but she's actually rubbing elbows on the charts with one of her idols, which is something that she couldn't even do. And we all know that Nikki likes to play this tough girl from Queens that doesn't play, that can get serious and whatnot, but she's a punk. I mean, she really is because, I mean, she's come against Remy Ma. She didn't do nothing. Little Kim, she didn't do nothing. And, of course, you know, she's thrown daggers at other female rappers along the way. And Nikki never did, you know, admit in interviews, whether telephone interviews or TV interviews or radio interviews, who she was specifically talking about. But we all know who she's dissed and who she's been talking about in her music. But when it comes to Cardi B, Cardi B is a lot different than a lot of these female rappers that came before Nicki. Now, the rappers that came before Nicki, when they heard that Nicki was dissing them, they decided to do it through their music. And to me, it really doesn't make sense that a lot of the old school rappers didn't want to make anything until Nicki dissed them. Because I'm like, if you're the best at what you do and good at what you do, why make music when somebody, dish, when somebody dishes you to become relevant again? And that's the part that just really doesn't make any sense to me. Like you have all of these people in history that made wonderful careers and that made wonderful accolades, but they're sitting on those awards and those accolades like, like they're going to be remembered forever. And like people are just going to always give them this respect. And as soon as somebody disrespects them, now they're releasing diss trackers. And I said diss trackers. I mean, diss records this albums and this mixtapes and i'm like where was all this music five years ago when this person that dissing you wasn't even out you know but anyways going back to Nicki minaj and cardi b 
Cardi B is a unique female rapper. You know, she she's like one of a kind because when it comes to her and having beef with somebody, she handles it and she settles it. I've seen a lot of videos about the Cardi B and Nicki Minaj fight. I've heard a lot of different opinions about the Cardi B and Nicki Minaj fight. And to be honest with you, I'm team Cardi B with this. And I know a lot of you think that fighting is wrong and putting your hands on people is wrong and acting erratic because people are talking about you and whatnot. People have to understand, and Cardi B even said it herself in one of her interviews when she first became mainstream. I believe it was one time last year where people were constantly commenting about her and her relationship with Offset and how that's not a good relationship, how she needs to leave him, how they're not equally yoked. And there might have been some religious aspects thrown in those people's comments because Cardi B mentioned she said that everybody's not raised to believe in Jesus or to be Christian or raised like everyone else is. So Cardi B didn't see anything wrong with her staying with Offset, even though he cheated on her. And then again, since Cardi B is not, well, I don't know what her religious beliefs is, but whatever they are, it's obvious that Cardi B did not grow up or was brought up taking anything from anybody, whether that be verbally, physically, mentally, or musically. We all know the fiery red blood, blood bound and blood repping cardi b does not let anybody get away with salty comments about her even though she's successful and she makes all this money and she had a baby and she's married she's still gonna fight for her own and i mean people have to understand that everybody is not classy and graceful and oh you know i'm just gonna let that slide some people don't believe in let stuff slide. Some people believe that if you say something about me, I'm going to check you. Well, I got to check you with my mouth or check you with my hands. And in all honesty, Nicki Minaj deserves it. Because how can Nicki believe that everybody that she did is just, just going to sit back and not say anything, sit along the sidelines or say fake hellos and fake goodbyes and blow fake kisses and not say anything? And then she claims to be such a tough girl from Queens that grew up in the hood and that knows this and that. I mean, Nikki, if you're a tough girl from Queens and you've been in the hood and been in the cut, you should know good and well that everybody's not going to take that slack of your mouth that you've been giving them. So I feel like justice was due in a way to Nicki Minaj because, and this is a prime example of what goes around comes around as well. Because you can't live life thinking you can say and do anything that you want to do to people and expect nothing to happen to you. And in all honesty, some people say, well, Cardi B should be ashamed of herself. She should maybe apologize and she should maybe just try to figure something out about this. But in all honesty, Cardi B, she stood her ground when she was there trying to fight Nikki. And she even stood her ground even after Nikki. She even confirmed that in an Instagram post she released not too long after that. And I'm about to read it. It says, I've let a lot of S slide. I let you sneak diss me. I let you lie on me. I let you attempt to stop my bags, mess up the way I eat. You threatened other artists in the industry, told them if they work with me, you'll stop messing with them. I let you talk big mess about me. I addressed you in person. I addressed you a second time in person every time you cop the plea. But when you mention my child, you choose to like comments about me as a mother, make comments about my abilities to take care of my daughter is when all bets are off. I work too hard and come too far to let anybody mess with my success. Girls talk all that mess in their raps, but in real life, they're punks. This mess really is for entertainment. And I actually commend Cardi B for sticking her ground and standing on her words and for backing it up. Because a lot of us, we love to scream, oh, we're keeping it 100 and we're keeping it real. But we like to do that on the internet and YouTube videos, on the radio, with our friends and with our family. But when we're out here in the real world and have to prove what we're about and what we said and what we think, we back out because we get scared. And I believe that this is the main reason why Cardi B has so much more respect from the music world and from her fans because she stands on what she says. She's a blood. She's a hood chick. She don't let nothing slide. She don't let nobody disrespect her nor take anything that she has. And whether she's famous or not, She's going to hold her own. And I have nothing but respect for Cardi B for that. 
So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like or dislike, comment, and feel free to subscribe if you would like. Have a good day. Bye.